Some might think it's a little crazy, but we are in the tallow flow right now. It's probably coming down to the last week or two. And uh, look at this massive hive right here, right out of Afame boxes. You got two deeps. Uh, this first wooden box here is actually a product called Simple Comb, something I'm trying for the first time. And last time I checked, they hadn't really done much with it, but hopefully they'll draw it out. I had it a little bit higher up in the stack. We got four boxes that are full of honey. You can see we got bees right there. So I opened that up for a little bit of ventilation. In the back as well, look at that. And I haven't pulled these two boxes down to see if they're putting anything in there for a while. I put them on here a few days ago. So I'm just gonna see how they do. I had a hive years ago that was like 11 or 12 boxes high, uh, three deeps, and then I think I had eight or nine honey supers on top of that, and I got 315 pounds of honey on it. This is not gonna do anything like that, but it is pretty impressive nonetheless. These over here are also doing pretty well. That one's got one honey super on it, you can see. It hasn't done a whole lot in there, I don't think, but this is actually just one we call the lawnmower. They have packed that seven frame nuke out, and I put a honey super on here, see if they'll do something with it. As of a day or two ago, they hadn't really done anything with it yet, but just remember, I caught that thing like less than about three weeks ago. This is the hive that we treated with Formic Pro, my first try with that ever. And uh, I've kind of got these Apimaze, I've got them set up so there's a little stick right up here. Let me see if I can show you without getting stung up here. It's a nice hot second of June out here today, here in my backyard. But I've got a stick right there, so it creates a little bit of space. So the bees can have a little ventilation um, up there. They're getting after me a little bit, so I gotta go. Uh, yikes. Okay, anyway. The one next to the red box, that's Greg's queen, the hive that it was in. Oh, they're getting after me. Yikes. All right, it's been a few minutes. I'm staying away a little bit because they're, <laughs> they got after me pretty good there, but this hive right here with the red box, that's the one that had a Greg's Pepto Pink queen in it from last year. I don't know if it has the original queen. I think they might have swarmed early in the year, but you can tell they're strong. I mean, they have built back up. Whether or not they've got the original queen, they're strong. If you look at them close, you can see they're very dark in color. And so they are definitely either his queen or descendants of his queen. They've been a really strong hive this year. Look in the back here, you can see they still have, so they got bees up there at the top. So they're doing well. This hive right here struggled a little bit. I did treat them with some Formic Pro. I'm really not sure what their status is. This box right here actually is empty. Uh, this is the box that had the swarm in it I caught on the lawnmower. When I put them in that hive over there, I just set them up over here as a swarm trap. And they have a couple frames of drawn comb, some swarm commander, and obviously there's a swarm checking them out. There's a bunch of bees going in and out, but they have not moved in yet. See the bees kind of flying around the back, the scout bees, but I'm thinking we may just have a swarm to move in here pretty soon. So that's pretty exciting. And then this box over here is also a swarm that's moved in a few weeks back. Really small swarm, but maybe they won't get up to me too bad here. You see, they built up. They got probably three or four good frames of brood. And I went in them. They don't have a lot of food in there, but they've been building up. So they're doing their thing. So we'll see how they turn out as well. But uh, once again, I mainly just wanted to show you that big old hive there. I call these big hives mega hives. I had that one a few years ago that was so crazy tall and I got 315 pounds of honey off of it. I won't get that much off of this one, but for the year we've had, uh, I'm excited they're packing the honey in. We're in a really good area here in my backyard for tallow. There's just tallow trees all around the neighborhood, kind of down in the woods, and so it works out real well. But just a quick little update on the backyard bees here, the Appen Bay Bee Yard here. Overall doing pretty well. It's pretty exciting stuff. I'll post a link to the uh, video where we caught that swarm on the lawnmower. I'll post it right here. That was one of my favorite videos I've ever done. It was a lot of fun and hope you enjoy it. Catch y'all in the next one.